in a senior day in which a, a lot of people popped out and a lot of people came to see Alexander Evans possible last home game playing for the Yukon Huskies before they head off to Pasadena. Now, they didn't leave disappointed. They left happy. So now they have punched their ticket to the national championship. Now, the focus is the awards before the national championship. So now the hype fully begins. The question is, can Alexander Evans be the first player in, the, in school history to win the Heisman? It's never been done before. No UConn football player has ever won the MVP or the most prestigious award for college football. It's always been for basketball. And throughout this whole season, that's what has been surprising a lot of people. The fact that a basketball school like UConn has dominated and beaten a lot of football programs. Well, of course, you got some blue blood programs like Ohio State and LSU, but they also beat in Pittsburgh, West Virginia, Alabama. They be in a lot of good teams this season. So now with the awards, all American and bowl projections, now the question lies. What is Alexander Evans going to do when the national championship comes? What is going to be his game plan? What is UConn going to do when they go up against Penn State? Because after this, after the game against UCF, everybody knew what the national championship was going to be. Penn State versus UConn. But before that is the awards and the All-American. And who's going to be on the All-American list? Obviously, we know first, the first team All-American is going to be Alexander Evans and Jeremy Taylor. But the real question is, who's going to win Heisman? Is it going to be Alexander or is it going to be Jeremy Taylor? We don't know. But if you guys know me, I'm Scott Butterfication. If you guys know all that good stuff. And let's get this episode underway. And also, I'm starting a new thing tonight. So go check that out. All right, yo, with that being said, welcome everybody to today's video in which today we go down to the awards, conference championship games, and Heisman, in which now we will see who will be in the national championship. Of course, it should be Connecticut and Penn State. Without further ado, Let's get, let's, get, let's get today's episode underway, man. Um, subscribe, all that good stuff. What a season, to say the least. What a what a season for this UConn squad and for Alexander Evans. First, close game, tough game against Bama. Excuse me, came out on top. Ohio State, top four, ranked top four, number four in the nation. Connecticut, one, dominated actually. Beat LSU by 10 in Baton Rouge. Then, of course, dominated against the FCS school. That was light work. Then... At Pittsburgh, tough matchup, got away with a W. Louisville, dominated, got the W. West Virginia was another tough game, got the W. Rutgers, I still don't get how we went into overtime, but we got the W. Cincinnati, a little closer than it looked, but we got the job done and we won. Then a bye, then Notre Dame, dominated that game. Syracuse, dominated in the second half. UCF, we closed the whole thing out, going out in style. Now... What we got to do? Conference. Who will face who in the conference championship game? In their respective conference championship game, so... How do I... Oh, yeah, just... Yeah, seven through the week, yeah. Alright, now I'm curious to see the conference championships, recruiting, and all that, so... Because remember, Penn State won the Big Ten, we won the Big East. So it looks like for the first time... Like I said, like I said in the intro, and I'm saying this again, for the first time in the BCS, a Big East school is going to be the national championship. That hasn't been for the BCS. There was no Big East school. Think about it, man. Florida State, Virginia Tech. Okay, hmm, got somebody. Florida State, Virginia Tech, Tennessee. Hey, say, guys, he's won the Big East title. There you go. All right, this is this is the conference championship. Georgia Tech at Wake Forest, Ole Miss, Florida. Houston, Memphis, K Texas versus Kansas, Oklahoma didn't get in, Central Michigan at Buffalo, that's actually insane, that's actually insane, how did, how did Oklahoma not get in, they beat Texas, they beat Texas, okay, both in undefeated, we know this, Texas is 10-2, Kansas is 9 and 3. How did. Did Oklahoma lose again? Yep, they lost again. To who? 
They lost back to back games. Texas Tech and Oklahoma State. Yeah, they were cooked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds about right. That sounds about right. So sounds 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 about right. Alright, let's see. We chillin'. We got our trophy. Hey. And look, opponents have more wins. Opponents have more wins and losses. So Alright. I'm curious to see you. Curious. Oh shit, recruiting. Recruiting, recruit. Ah. Yes, sir! And I'm outstanding. And your Heisman Trophy award goes to Alexander Evans. 290 yards. 200 and 290 for 442. 4,856 completion for, uh, yards. 91 carries. 210 yards. 70 total touchdowns. For a grand total of over... What? Yeah, over 5,000 yards. Exa exactly. 5,046. No, 66. 5,066 ,006, 5, total yards. And 70 total touchdowns. With, with Jeremy being right behind him in terms of voting. Damn, it was kind of a little bit. Of, eh, it was close. It was close. It was close. It was close. Yes, sir. We're at number one. Congratulations. Your team has... Received the bid to play in the BCS National Championship in Pasadena, California. Evans, of course, won Heisman. Evans won the Max Award. Evans won Best Quarterback. Jeremy won Best Wide Receiver. Walker won Best Jim Thorne Award, Best DB. UConn won, well, won, we won Coach of the Year. Oh, wow, that's basically it. Crazy. <laughs> that's basically it. Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, you guys know the deal. Alright, let's do this in order. Let's do this in order. Let's do this in order. Um first off, who won the respective conference championship games? I'm kinda curious about that. Alright, 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 right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that's what is it? That's what is it? That's what is it? Conference championship. Georgia Tech beat Wake Forest. Florida dominated Old Miss. Memphis Ooh, lost to Houston by one. Central, Texas dominated Kansas. And Central Michigan won in overtime against Buffalo. Alright. We look at the top 25 after this. Well, let's go, Old Americans. Alright. Connecticut leads the nation. Wait, Connecticut leads the nation in the number of All Americans. We did? How many people we got? Evans, that's one. I right, won. Jeremy, two. Uh, rushing. That's three. Cooper. That's four. About to say Cooper's locked down. Walker Reed five. Return. Yeah. Yeah, ain't gonna lie. Cooper. I said it. Yo, they they didn't try Cooper. Cooper. He didn't get tried. No one tried Cooper. Not as much they tried. Um. The oh my fault. Not much they tried on um, bridges. They tried bridges when they tried Cooper. Cooper was a lockdown corner. He was a lockdown corner this season. I, I like I barely had to say his name that much. Barely had to say his name that, that much this season. So we had five. All right, good, 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 good. My second team. Brown Snyder, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. My fault, my fault. One, two, three. Four, five, six. All right, hold up. It's six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Yeah, grand total of nine. Yeah, grand total of nine All Americans. We have no. Yeah, we have no freshmen for us, right? No freshmen. Yeah, no freshmen. Yeah, we got a lot of got a lot of veterans on our squad. What about Big East? Of course, Evans leads the Heisman. Yeah, these two, of course, they gave us a problem. Schneider, Jeremy. Of course, number from Alpha to Laman, given being how much time, how much barely time he had. TJ Hill. Rushing. Logan. Bridges. Cooper. DB's us. Alright. Alright, alright, that's cool. No, 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 that's cool, school, school, school. One second team. 
Givens even while getting hurt. Brown right behind him. Anyone else? That's it. Johnson. That's it. That's it. Let's have all Americans. Uh, let's see. Award winners. Obviously, you guys already saw Maxwell Award winner. Defensive Player of the Year that goes to AJ Dodds from Wake Forest. O'Brien Award, of course. Come on now. Walker Award that goes to William Steele. He gave us a problem. He's going to go into the draft for sure. Best wide receiver, Jeremy. I saw that. Um, best tight end, we didn't win that. Best lineman, we're not. We're, we, we weren't going to win that, but I'm not. Am I a sax feel out? No. Best center, yeah. Sounds about right. Best end, Carlos Tucker from Oregon won, but TJ Hill finished at sixth. Best linebacker, we weren't even nominated. AJ Dodds won that. Best DB, Jim Throw Award goes to Anthony Walker. Sophomore, we got a. I think we got. We got a young. We got a young. We got a young secondary. We got a young safety unit. They still got one more year. Um, kicker, we didn't win that. Best punter, we didn't win that. And then best returner, where's Jeremy? I mean, we only had one return all year. So can we really say we only had one return? We only had one return touchdown all year. So can we really say that? All right, hold up. Um, actually, top twenty-five real quick. Curious. Of course, number one and number two, but in BCS, it's the opposite. In BCS, the opposite. We're number one, then number two. Texas, Florida, USC, West Virginia, Utah, Virginia Tech, Alabama. Alabama State still finished in the top 10. Impressive. Oklahoma State, 10, 11, Notre Dame, 12, Ole Miss, 13, Clemson, 14, Oregon, 15, Florida Atlantic, 16, BYU, 17, Kansas after they lost. 18 Boise State, 19 Oklahoma, 20 Kansas State, 21 o Oregon State, 22 Cincinnati, 23 Iowa, 24 Georgia, 25 Cal. BCS, we're number one. Penn State's number two. Texas, number three. Four Florida, five USC. Yeah, so kind of glad we won the rest of our games. West Virginia, number, number six. Seven Utah, Virginia Tech, eight Alabama, nine Oklahoma State, 10 Notre Dame, 11. Ole Miss 12, Clemson 13, Oregon 14, Kansas 15, 16 Florida Atlantic, 17 BYU, 18 Oklahoma, they surprised me the most, 19 Boise State, 20 Cincinnati, Cincinnati's ranked? 21 Georgia, 22 Oregon State, 23 Iowa, 24 Nebraska, and 25 Houston. Hey, I ain't gonna matter at the end of the day, I ain't gonna matter, one team's playing for the national championship, looking at them. Now, of course, y'all could, you know, pause it to see, see if y'all favorite teams. But y'all yeah, 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 know the usual. New Year's Six. We always look at the New Year's Six Bowls. Actually, it's kind of interesting. Some of them, them missed me in a bowl game. Notre Dame. All right. All right. First of all, yeah, let's sort of... No, here. Chick-fil-A Bowl. All right. Chick-fil-A Bowl. Wake Forest will take on Auburn. Insight Bowl. What the fuck? Is oh, yeah. Oklahoma take on Wisconsin. Outback Bowl. All right, now we're cooking. Georgia will take on Illinois. Capital One Bowl. Ole Miss will take on Michigan State. Gator Bowl. A Ugh, my fault. Clemson will take on Florida Atlantic. Rose Bowl. USC will take on West Virginia. Ha! One was going to be a bad deed and one's going to be the national championship. Ha! Sugar Bowl. Florida take on... Wow, just like real life that season after we lost against, you know, Alabama. We ended up going to Sugar Bowl. Gators take on Virginia Tech, Cotton Bowl, Tennessee will take on Oklahoma State, um, Liberty Bowl, LSU will take on Houston, Alamo Bowl, Nebraska will take on Michigan, In International Bowl, West Virginia will take, West Michigan will take on Pittsburgh, Tortillas Fiesta Bowl, Alabama will take on Texas, Orange Bowl, Utah will take on the Big Ten champs, Georgia Tech, the GMC Bowl, um, Houston will take on, not say Houston, Buffalo will take on Memphis. Then, of course, for all the marbles, the National Championship. Connecticut versus Penn State. This is the big game. This is the big one for both teams. Both teams are undefeated. Both teams dominated. Both teams are looking to do them. Penn State's looking for their what? Their third National Championship in school history. UConn is looking for their first. Hey, man. Let's do this.
If you guys are new, man, subscribe. Bell notification if you guys are new. I'll see you guys next episode tomorrow for the National Championship. Can UConn get it done? Can Alexander Evans submit himself as a true college football legend? Not only bringing his hometown school to the National Championship, but defeating Penn State and giving UConn their first National Championship in school history. I'm back with TJ. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.